Hey what's up, Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I just want to go over how to dissolve a video while it's playing. So this is what it's going to look like in the end. You see we've got some video playing on a couple things and we just slide this up and down to dissolve it. Alright, let's get started. To make this all work, I grabbed this basic dissolve shader from this site right here. I'll put a link in the description so you can grab it yourself. I think it's a pretty good tutorial on just how to make a dissolve shader yourself. And I've copied that dissolve shader right into here. I just made a new shader and pasted in the, the code. So the next thing I'm going to need though is a video. So I'm just going to grab one that I worked on earlier today. Just a navigation video for YouTube. And there we go. It's right in here. What I want to do now is create an empty game object for my video player. So I'll just call this video player. And I'm going to add a video player component. The position doesn't matter because it's just going to play to a render texture. So the render mode needs to be set to render texture. And then we're going to need to assign a render texture here. But first I want to assign my video clip. Right here is where you put the clip. Just drag this right in and we're good to go. Now to create a render texture, I'll scale, slide this up a little bit so you can see. We go to create and render texture. Where'd that go? Right there. We're going to call this uh, dissolve. Cool. So we've got the texture, now we need to assign it in the player. So I'll reselect the player, just drag the render texture over. I'm also going to adjust the render texture size to match the video size. So mine is 1920 by 1080. You want to keep that aligned and just have it match with whatever size you're going to be playing. Alright, now I need to create a material, so I'll just right click and hit create and choose material and we'll name it dissolve. We need to assign the render texture to it. And then we're going to need something to play this on. So I'll go to game object, 3D object, and just create a cube. And I'm just going to drag our new material right on there. Now if I hit play, what we should see is the video just start to play on there. There we go. The video is playing. But like I said, there's still no way to dissolve it yet. That's because we're still not using the shader. So to change that, we'll just go over to our material again. And we're going to switch this shader from standard to this dissolving shader that we created. Hit play. And now you can see as we slide this around, nothing's happening yet, right? It's because the slice guide's not set up. So for that, I've got just a little texture with some noise here. I think you can play around and grab a couple different types and see what feels best for your scenario. But for this one, I'm just using some basic noise. I'm going to drop it right in. You can see it's already disappeared. Right, you don't even have to be playing and we can slide this up and down and see it go in and out. So I'm going to press play and then we'll just adjust it at runtime to see what that looks like. So with this selected, we'll expand out the material again and just do the slice and you can see it slowly disappears until it's all gone. So you can use this to just create a video. You could have it in a sphere around you. You could have it just on a wall, wherever you want and just dissolve it right away. Pretty cool little effect and easy to set up, so give it a try. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe or come check out the website at unity3d.college. Thanks.